The Pulitzer Center on Crisis Reporting is an award-winning nonprofit organization based in Washington, D.C. that sponsors independent, in-depth journalism on global systemic issues. We support freelance and staff journalists covering stories that are underreported in today's media and whose work appears in high-end print and broadcast outlets. Online, those are part of the Pulitzer Center on Crisis Reporting's Fragile States Project. We also archive all of the center's past and ongoing journalism, over 125 reporting projects since we began four years ago, on our award-winning website, www.pulitzercenter.org. Many of our projects include reports on issues related to public health. Through our gateway portals, viewers can access our journalism organized across themes that provide sustained coverage of critical issues such as water and sanitation, HIV AIDS, climate change, and food insecurity. Two of the gateway portals are specifically dedicated to women and children, Women, Children, Crisis, and Dying for Life, which looks exclusively at maternal mortality in five different nations. Filmmaker Don Sinclair Shapiro reports from Nigeria in a feature documentary that examines Nigeria's struggles to lower maternal mortality in the face of political instability, religious conflict, and grinding poverty. In India, Hana Ingber Wynn assesses maternal health in Assam, which has the nation's highest maternal mortality rate. She describes family tragedies of mothers lost, cultural practices that exacerbate the problem, and systemic efforts to improve access to health services in remote areas. Hana's reporting in India builds on a series of articles from Ethiopia in which she draws a complete portrait of the nation's maternal health services from a rural village to the state's tertiary hospitals, highlighting the dearth of well-trained health care providers along the way. Sam Lowenberg looks at maternal mortality in Mexico, focusing on the plight of indigenous women who face the additional challenges of ethnic discrimination in accessing health care. country as a whole, in the poorest states where I was reporting, Oaxaca and Chiapas, the rates of death are still very high. This is especially troubling as these are usually preventable deaths. And photojournalist Marco Vernacci documents life and death in a series of stark photos from an under-equipped birthing center in Guinea-Bissau. Additional reporting on maternal mortality in other countries may be added as projects are completed. As viewers access journalism on our website, they can comment on, share, tweet, and like via Facebook the journalism they see, as well as receive RSS feeds. Another unique interactive feature is our Share Your Stories platform. These platforms feature comments self-recorded on webcams by experts in the field, video stories uploaded by citizen journalists, or essays written by viewers who have something relevant to say about the gateway topic. As a journalism organization, the Center does not advocate for campaigns, policies, or organizations. We do, however, share the public health goal of wanting to raise awareness about global maternal mortality issues. We measure our impact by counting how many projects we fund, how many stories our journalists produce, and how many readers are reached by these stories and by our website. To amplify the reach of our journalism, we collaborate with schools and academic institutions to promote in-depth engagement with global affairs through our innovative educational programs. In addition to providing students with fresh information on global issues, our programs help them think critically about the creation and dissemination of news and inspire them to become active consumers and producers of information. The Pulitzer Center's groundbreaking approach to supporting and promoting international journalism creates a bridge between new and traditional media, helping to make all of us aware of the global issues and trends that will shape our future. We hope you'll visit us at www.pulitzercenter.org, share your stories, and tell us what you think. Thank you.